Hello, me again. Okay, so my envelopes are now stuck on the inside of my journal cover. Now then, as I said, this area here where we've done the creasing and the inking, it becomes a little bit weak. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to use my, my um, micropore tape, which I talked about on an earlier video in this series, and I'm just going to place a strip down there. And I'm also, where's my squizzers gone? There. And I'm also going to place a strip on the other side. Now I will end up covering these over, but this is just to give that spine that little bit of extra support. And as I say, the thing I like about Micropore is it sticks far better than washi tape. Because I can decorate that up later which I will talk about later. Okay, so that now just gives that that little bit of extra support on the spine. If you wanted to, you could put glue down first and then stick it on. But that now just gives that, that little bit of extra support. Okay, next part is I'm going to put a background on first. And I'm going to use again the same papers as I've used right the way throughout the journal. So I'm going to get a piece of that. Now I've cut this, uh, sorry, I've printed this out on slightly thicker card because the more depth in terms of weights of card that you can add onto this, the sturdier it is going to become. All right. And again, I need to measure the surface area now then that's just five and a half inches so I've got my, no I've got my way I've got my pencil tan so five and a half inches is the actual overall surface area and from top to bottom is seven and three eighths so that's the size that it is but I want a fraction of a board around. So if I take an eighth of an inch off each of these measurements, then that gives me a sixteenth of an inch border. <gasps> Ooh, who knew there was mathematics involved, eh? So an eighth of an inch off that makes that seven and a quarter inches. And an eighth of an inch off that makes that five and three eighths. If you can't do it in your head, use your ruler as your guide. You know, so you go, right, so it was five and a half. I want to take an eighth off, so that's five and three eighths. Okay, the other measurement was seven and, you can see that, okay. Yeah. Seven and one, two, three eighths. I want to take an eighth of an inch off, so that takes me to there. So that's seven and a quarter. Okay, and I want two pieces, one for the front, one for the back. Okay, what did I say? Five and three eighths, seven and a quarter. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to trim off that white excess. So I'm not buttoning it up to, to either end of the lips. I am lining my wire up with the edge of the paper so that I've now got a straight line that I can work with. And then find out the way sunshine and then I'm going to butt it up let me do it that way so you can see I'm going to butt it up to the top lip and I'm going to trim off this excess white part as well so now I've got a definite right angle in this corner here so I know that everything will be square on Okay, so I know that I want the depth to be seven and a quarter inches. So flip it over that way a minute. Seven and one quarter inches. Takes me to there. Right, so I've got two right angles now. And I want five and three eighths. So that's one, two, three. 
five and three eighths. So that's one piece, and I want another one. Five and one, two, three. Five and three eighths. So that's my front and my back. I'm going to do another one because I want one for the inside as well. So I'm going to trim off that first bit. Get rid of that. I'm going to spin it. Get rid of that other little white edge there. Okay, so I want it seven and a quarter inches high. So I need to spin that round there to seven and a quarter. So I've got one cut edge up here. The other cut edge is down here. Trim that off. And then I want five and three eighths that way. So line that up with one, two, three. Trim that off. So I've now got my three pieces. I'm going to ink my edges up again. Because I want them all to blend in and I don't want the white core that you can see on the edge of the paper. I don't want that showing, so I want red. So I'm just going to try and do a, a quick ink up. So that I'm not wasting too much of your time. I'm going to sit and watch the boring bits. Small circular motions again. It just takes the that white edge off. The next one. The other thing, I don't know whether you, you might have noticed me doing it. I don't dab, run it round. Some for some reason it picks up the ink better for me. The thing is, if you run it round too much, it picks up too much ink. So I will start sort of just on the plastic before I go straight onto the paper. There we go. All right, that's that boring bit for you out the way. Now I'm going to use my Kalal glue on this one because I'm just sticking the paper to the paper. And I've got to mind my droopy bits. <laughs> my droopy bits. I don't mean droopy bits at all, I mean the scallopy shape. Have it the right way up. Helps if you open the glue really, doesn't it, Carol? It works then. Yes. Not right the way up to the edge, but close enough. I think I've got that open enough, have I? Ooh, there we go. Losing out now, look. Ooh, get that up quick. Okay, so I'm going to stick that on there. So as you can see, look, I've only got a really tiny amount of border showing. And again, you can stitch around your papers before you actually stick them in situ if you want. I'm going to open that up and stick that one on the inside. in on this side of the, the card so already now 
we've got three layers to that front cover. Okay, and then I'm going to stick one on the back. Just making sure I've got it the right way up. Hear that noise? That's someone probably commenting on Facebook on the group. There we go. So we've got the three pieces on now. So as I say, this has now got three pieces of card on it, so it'll start to strengthen up. Now it's got all those layers on, and we're going to be adding more to it as well. Okay. So, next part is I'm going to add this bit, alright, so in my new digital kit, Roses and Daisies, in the frames one, like I showed you before on the cards that go in here, there's the lines on the background but there's also a page where it hasn't got lines on the background as well. So I'm going to, on the front cover here I'm going to use the one that hasn't got lines on and again I've printed this onto a slightly thicker card so again I'm adding another layer of card to give that front cover a bit of strength. Now you can measure if you so wish. I'm just going to go by I. Am I? Am I going to go by I? Yeah. Let's live dangerously. This is me having a wild party. This is as near as I get to having a wild party. Okay, let's have a look at that. As I say, you can measure if you want. Yeah, that's fine, isn't it? Okay, now the other thing I'm going to do as well is I'm just going to use my corner punch. Just give it a bit of a, a decorative edge. Inker up again. The sun's come out now. The sun will come out tomorrow. You alright? Oh no, oh no, one rubbish at sinking, oh no. I have to entertain myself somehow. You lot aren't talking to me, are you? You see, I'm sat here on my own. In the window for the world to see. Looking like a mad woman. Talking to herself. I'm just talking a load of gibberish now, aren't I? Really. Right, I'm inking this up quite a lot because I do want it to have that vintage look about it. Because the picture that I'm going to add on is of the vintage little girl. Yes, we're liking that. Add it on there. Okay, again, I'm going to use my collal. on the front. Sorry, I'm, I'm quite happily working away here. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing. Oh, I got that the right way up. Yeah. Whew. Don't forget to check <laughs> that you're placing your image the right way up. As this could lead to a lot of swearing. Okay, it's starting to come together now. 
next bit there we go so there we go. okay so i've got another card and i've got this photo of this vintage little girl and i'm just gonna ink up the edge i've printed her out onto photo paper but she's still got a white core to the edge of the paper so i'm just going to just ink those edges up a bit and this is another one of those cards now i'm going to stick her onto the card and then stick that onto here because if i just put the the picture on there can you see you can see a bit of the the old gubbins underneath and i don't want that showing so i'm just going to use my collar again stick her onto a bit of card leaving a border so i'm sticking her down in the corner can you see and i'm just watching the border space here and here now me being me i'm not going to use my paper trimmer i'm just going to use my eye to cut running it off this time because if I do the round bit I might go over the photograph and I don't want to do that I've already inked that up and again just plain particular attention to the corners there we go happy with that now as I say don't forget when you're inking stuff like this up when you first put it on it looks quite dark but it will actually start to dry and dry lighter so I'm going to stick her on there but I'm going to use there, there. I've moved stuff about Americans call them dimensionals we call them foam pads so that I'm going to put some foam pads on the back here so that she's just slightly raised off the front now you could use um, a strip of foam of which I have got some where it is nobody knows because i've moved everything around and at the moment i'm just putting singles on but you'll see in a moment i'm going to put a strip down the middle all right so i've just put single ones around the outside now what i'm going to do actually is i'm going to pick up a strip they don't always come off so easily I'm just going to stick a strip of them down the middle so that it's kind of balanced. This is the bit I don't like. He's sitting, pulling all of them little tiny bits of paper off. Now I normally use my little pointy tool. But I don't know where it is right now. I tell you, I've got that much stuff surrounding me at the moment for this bit. So it takes lots of different little bits and pieces. Just to let you know I am still here. Okay, give 
get rid of them. It's talk to me now. And I'm going to stick her on the front. Okay, and there she is, stuck on the front. So there's that little bit of dimension there. Okay, I'm going to leave it there for today. I'm going to come back tomorrow um, and show you how how I do all of this bit here and, and I'm actually going to show you how to ink up your seam binding talk about attaching the lace and then we'll start on some of the decorative pieces as well inside of the journal but I think that's enough to keep you occupied for today don't you? yeah? well tough because that's all you're getting right enjoy the rest of your weekend I'm sorry for those that have to go back to work tomorrow um I'll see you all again tomorrow. Thanks for watching and I uh, hope you're enjoying it. See ya. Bye.